guys, it's Glenn from Glenn'sCarCollection.com, and we're at the McLaren Artura event, the unveiling of the McLaren Hybrid Supercar that starts at $225,000. We'll get to that in a minute. Let's see what other cars showed up. Well, we saw the MC12 that started it all, my McLaren love for me. We uh, saw an Avora GT, a nice F80 M3, C7 Corvette, C5 Corvette. And look at this C6 Carbon Edition Z06. We're going to have a full review on that. My friend just bought this gorgeous, gorgeous car. So let's see what else is here. Well, we got the GT3 RS. We got the Lamborghini Huracan with that V10, naturally aspirated V10. And here is the McLaren GT. So that replaced the 570S GT. It's got the motor, the 4-liter motor from the 720S, uh, essentially in the 570s body. We have a whole review of this with the McLaren rep. That was a pretty cool car to drive. Very luxurious, almost like uh, Turbo S. Motorcar Manor in Ramsey, New Jersey is the site of this event. So if you need your car stored there, uh, store it there. He's got a fantastic collection of customer cars stored there. Here is the Aston Martin SUV. We'll have a review coming up on this. This car stickered for 199000 Sharp looking car, definitely. It's got that Aston Martin grill on the front. Uh, I'm sure it'll be a good seller. I don't know if you can see with the camera here. But it is. Uh, it does have an MSRP with options of 199,000. So the McLaren Artura is inside. So let's work our way inside. We'll pass out whatever we have over here. Oh, we have a DB11 I see. Let's look at the uh, the Aston Martin SUV. Let's look at the interior. Nice interior for sure. Beautiful, beautiful car. And there you have the back seat. And it's a hatch uh, SUV, so I could definitely fit my hockey bag back there for sure. Good looking car. Now, oh, before we go inside, we have to see this. This is the McLaren, uh, I'm sorry, the Maserati MC12, one of my favorite cars. So it's essentially Maserati's version of the Ferrari Enzo, but way more rare. They only made about 50 examples of these. 25, I believe, in 2004 and another 25 in 2005. Hopefully that doesn't scrape. I'm getting nervous just watching this. And now we did a full video review. One of the Cars and Coffees I went to a couple weeks ago, this car was there. It's been in a lot of our Cars and Coffees. The uh, owner is local, so I've seen it many times. He's a really enthusiast. He's got a Carrera GT, uh, an Enzo, an F40, an F50, uh, uh, 2006 Ford GT, a 599 GTO. So this guy really knows his cars. So that's uh, beautiful. They come with that white on... Uh, Blue. Now, if it looks different than, than the Enzo, it is. It's got 624 horsepower, 479 foot pounds of torque from a V12, six speed automatic transmission. Now, it's taller and, and wider, about 2.2 to 2.4 inches taller and wider than the uh, Ferrari Enzo. And if you're looking at the car now, you'll see a good look as it backs up here. You'll see a good look at the wheelbase. Uh, the wheelbase is actually six inches longer than the Enzo. Stunning, stunning car. In in many ways, that's my favorite car over the Ferrari Enzo, just because it is so unique. Now, I was nervous driving my 570S and parking it. If I ever could afford one of these cars, <laughs> I'd be really nervous parking on it. Parking, especially no backup camera. There you go. That's a pro for sure. Beautiful, beautiful car. See the front lift is up. You see in the wheel well there, uh, it does have, it looks like a lift to get over the, uh, the low driveways. DB11, what we started talking about before I noticed the Maserati uh, MC12. So here, you this car can come in a V8 or a V12. Very good looking car. Next to it, we have the 765 LT. So that's based on the 720S. The way to look at the LT cars, LT stands for long tail. They're about an inch or two uh, longer. Is They're basically the track Vulcan version of the regular car. So the 765 is essentially the track version of the 720S. The 600 LT is essentially the track version of my 570S. And here you have the McLaren GTR. We saw this in the Cars and Coffee video a couple weeks back that also had that uh, Maserati MC12. So we went over all the specs in that video. So you can find that video on the channel to see that. I can't get over this steering wheel. I just think that looks so cool. That looks like a PlayStation steering wheel or something. And I've sat in those seats in a regular uh, Senate. Hard to get in and out, of course. 
but it does uh, it does keep it situated. And I love the glass here on the doors that you could actually drive and uh, you know see the road looking uh, to the left or right into the door cells. And I don't blame it. That car should stay on the trailer. All right, so here's inside. These are a bunch of uh, 720s's on the left side here. Love that color orange. Beautiful, beautiful example. And here it is. Here's the star of the show, and I love this color. This is the 2022 McLaren Artura. As we said before, it starts at 225,000. So it's a hybrid. Basically, we have a combined 671 horsepower, 531 foot-pounds of torque. Zero to 60 time of about three seconds flat and a top speed of 205 miles an hour. Pay very close attention to that interior and uh, you'll notice some really cool features about it. So there's a gas engine and is supplemented by an electronic motor. It's an eight-speed dual clutch. And what do you notice there? The steering wheel is on the right. And here's some other cars at uh, Motor Car Manor, Jaguar E-Type, Alfa Romeo 4C, one of my favorite cars, a uh, 997 Turbo. And what's next to the left there, that beige color? That's actually a Kaiser Darren. You've probably never seen one of those. Let's take a closer look at it. And see that car in the back? That is a 94 Admiral Blue C4 Corvette. I had a 95 Admiral Blue C4 Corvette. And when people see me today, they say, hey, do you still have the vet? even though that was many years ago. One of my favorite cars here, the FD RX-7. Always one of these cars. These cars are crazy money now, so I doubt I'll ever have one. I do have a review of a silver one on the channel, and I'm telling you, I don't know how reliable they are, though mine was, the one I drove was very reliable, but uh, amazing car. I'd love to own one. So this is a first generation NSX. If you follow the channel, you know my car started with a black 95 NSX. Here is a BMW Z8, one of my favorite cars from the early 2000s. It has the same motors, the E39 M5. Great car. It actually drives more like a muscle car because of all that V8 torque than a regular M car. And this is one of my favorite cars, the V12 Aston Martin Vantage. So you've heard of the V8 Vantage, V8 because it has a V8 engine. This has a 12-cylinder engine, and in 2011 and 2012, they only came with a manual transmission. I think they only made 140, 145 cars, somewhere in that range. Uh, they brought the stick shift back in 2017 with the Vantage S. Previous that, like a 2015 Vantage S, they were all the, the single clutch, which wasn't very good. That looks like a, roughly a 2006 Viper to me. And beautiful red in the convertible. And of course we have a Porsche GT3 RS. Beautiful Ferrari Testarossa in the right color. And I love that uh, Trans Am, that 78 Trans Am on the top there. Beautiful cars in this facility. So a great place to store your car. And they are not a sponsor, but they're really nice in hosting the event, so that's the least I can do. So if you want to see more of the McLaren Natura, here it is right now. It kind of almost reminds me like of the new NSX with that hybrid powertrain. There's Herbie the Love Bug. I love that uh, second generation Viper back there. Looks like a 96 with the blue and the white. Here's a closer look at the McLaren. Let me know what you think about the McLaren. Are there too many McLarens? We have, you know, the 570S, the 600LT, the 765, the McLaren GT, the 720. I mean, of course, they're great cars, but are they diluting the brand by having too many cars? Now, here are the steering wheels on the right spot on the left-hand side. Definitely reminds me a lot of my 570S, which was, uh, I think, the same color as this car. All right, guys, just wanted to bring you this video. Let me know what you think. What was your favorite car in this video? Leave a comment below. Was it the McLaren Artura? Was it the Maserati MC12? Was it one of the other cars that we saw? Was it the 765 LT? Was it that Senna GTR? Was it this NSX? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Lock me up.